In the small movie theater in downtown Hempstead, a spark is being lit. So we do need help. And people say, you know, come back, but where are you supposed to go? In a town of just more than 7,000 people, the utility bills, they're skyrocketing. Property taxes going up. Folks are starting to look around and ask why. I'm sixth generation Hempsteadian. My family's origins go back to the 1870s here in Hempstead. John Amsler is the blunt talking county commissioner for Hempstead. And I drive around Hempstead and I, I just want to weep. We're not going anywhere. We're losing ground. The streets are in bad repair. All of the infrastructure is in bad repair. And we are paying a, a ridiculous sum of money for people that work for the city, from the mayor on down. Outside the theater, the streets are dark. The planned lights for downtown Hempstead, well, they never happened. And it's not the only failure of the City Economic Development Corporation. A million dollars later, for what? I'm just telling you, you're not getting your money's worth. You're just not. The numbers don't lie. Hempstead, a town of more than 7,000, now has a city budget of $13 million. Look at nearby Navasota, about the same size, a budget half the size. It reflects a bloated city payroll. And look at Brenham, twice as big as Hempstead, its budget only $5 million higher. Hempstead has an expensive mayor, a full-time economic development director with virtually no record of economic development, a full-time technology director for a city website that desperately needs help. I know the history of Hempstead. I know the bloodlines. I know where the corruption is. It needs to be cleaned up. I've learned a lot about the folks in Hempstead during the long fight to stop the proposed Highway 6 dump. They deserve better. Let's hope the spark remains lit.